You were presented with four different diagrams that you needed to create equations and find the solutions to. So to start with, we know that x and 3 balance out to 8. So I have x plus 3 equaling 8. There is my equation. Now I need to find out what x equals. I use the addition principle because the original problem says I'm supposed to add 3. I do the opposite to clear it off. So when I take 3 away from both sides, I'm left with x because those threes cancel out, and eight minus three is five. If I double check that, five plus three is eight, I know x has to be five in order to make the two sides balance. I do the same thing over here. I could put a 12 equaling two y's, but for my own preference, I like to put my variables first, so I have two y's being equivalent to 12. Because I have 2 times a number, I need to go and divide both sides by 2 so that I find out what that number is. The 2's cancel out because it's 2 divided by 2, which is 1, which just leaves me with 1y. And 12 divided by 2 is 6. If I double check that, 6 plus 6 is 12, so that is the correct solution. If I come over here, I have z, 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 and z. I have four z's being equal to the value of 11. So I need to divide both sides by 4. And I could say z is 11 fourths, or I could find out what 11 fourths is actually worth. 4 divided by, or 11 divided by 4, I can take 4 out of 11 twice, leaving me with three additional pieces, which is two and three out of four, or two and three quarters. So z is either 11 fourths or two and three quarters of a value. Then if I add those all up together, I would see that that does equal up to be 11. And the final thing is the value of w plus three and four fifths is equivalent to 13 and four fifths. Because I have an addition of 3 and 4 fifths, I need to take it off of both sides so that I cancel it out and take it out of the whole value. 3 and 4 fifths minus 3 and 4 fifths. I start with my fractions 4 fifths minus 4 fifths is 0, so that's convenient. It cancels out, and 13 minus 3 is 10. So then if I plug that 10 back in for W, if I have 10 and I add 3 and 4 fifths, fifths to it, it does get me 13 and 4 fifths. So I have my equations, my solutions. Equation, solution.